first off, I just want to say, if people got a problem with the eyeballs in, in Koiti Wuso, I don't really see how that's a problem. I mean, eyeballs are big in anime, and it seems like they are around the same size of what any other anime does. I, it's not like... It's not even bad. Like, I mean, I've seen anime eyeballs that are way bigger than these ones. And they're just, they're horrible. But, like, these ones, it's fine. Now, we, this episode, I mean, episode two came out. Now, see, I half like it. And, like, I I don't like it. But, like, I, I, first episode, I was like, cool, we're going to get, like, a cool, like, Romeo, Juliet style thing. But then we kind of get this love kind of triangle going on here. Kind of. And it is like it, it could it could have worked but i feel like what they're doing it's not gonna work now see the, the sonata is the, gonna be is the future wife that she shows up she's just too much of a tsundere to for me to even care that much now see we get a little backstory on her and everything how she's just like treated badly at school and whatnot but it's just like it's just so tropey at that point like it's not even of any note. It's not like they're even trying. They're just like, we just got to put that in there just to put it in there. It's whatever. Uh, go, they're going to like team up together to get to get Nejima with Misaki, the girl that he likes. So I'm just like, okay, cool. We'll see that where that goes. Don't under... It's one of those things where it's like it's a losing battle. Where it's like, I don't really understand why your future wife is even helping you with this girl. I guess it's, the, and this is the whole thing of, it's a little tropey where the tsundere stuff comes out too much, where she just punches him for no reason, or like she's sitting there with her panties undone for like forever, and then she realizes it and like two minutes later, and then she punches him, and I'm just like, really? Like, is that what we're doing? Like, is, is that really what we're doing? Now, here's the thing. They try to do this thing where these kids are so messed up because they basically are signed these marriages so they don't actually know what love really is, like this real romantic love. And they're trying to figure out what it really is. Now, that's something that's interesting and could be presented and that, that could be uh, explored in the show. But with all this tsundere and like tropey stuff that goes on, I don't really think it like really shines the way it should do. Now they're trying to do the same where like they group up, like the team up and everything, and they're gonna figure out uh, why Nejima likes uh, Masaki and why Masaki likes Nejima and like where does that go? But I honestly don't see where it can go. Like yeah, they're gonna like each other, and it's also pretty predictable. Like it, like Sana does gonna get with Nejima. I mean or, I mean like it, she's going to like start liking him. And then they're going to like start, you know, having this love triangle where she likes him and he likes her and then he also likes the other girl and then like is this like what's going on? And maybe there's a lesbian thing going on cuz they mentioned that in this episode. Oh, do I like her? And I'm like, "Oh my gosh." I'm like, "This is this is going in places where I didn't think it was going to go." But, you know, we'll see where this goes because this episode, I just think, like, cool idea of, like, you know, these characters coming in and being like, hey, we, like, you know, like, we're here to see where what love really is and everything. And then it's just like, but we're going to still do all the tropey stuff. And, like, the tropey stuff's going to take, like, five minutes, like, of, like, this one scene or whatever. And it's like, I, I, I don't care. Plus, like, the backstory of Sanada, fine and everything, I guess. But, like, it's like an afterthought, really. It's not really, like, they have a connection together now, I guess, but it's just really just kind of averagely done and not really, not really that well done. Again, I think the art and the animation is fine. Animation doesn't really have room to shine, though, because, you know, it's, they just kind of sit there or whatever, but the art looks good. I like it a lot. But, yeah, this episode, I was like, okay. But, yeah, <laughs> tell me what you guys think about this episode. I thought it was just, like, eh. Like, you could have done better. But, yeah, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys later.